Hello, welcome to Study Topics. My name is Erin Reeds. Today we're going to be looking at lower extremity muscle testing before a mobility station, a hot topic for a lot of our students. Now, safety fails are always a big concern for students taking the practical exam. Now, not all stations involve safety considerations, but some do. And mobilizing a patient is definitely a safety consideration. Now, there are some essential safety steps that need to be taken in order to effectively mobilize a patient on the exam. One of these steps involves strength testing their legs. Now, it's critical that students check their patient's leg strength prior to mobilizing them on the exam. And a question I am often asked is, when do I need to do this? Let's look at it now. You should strength test your patient's legs before mobilizing them in the following stations. A transfer station, a supine to stand station, an ambulation station, a gait assessment station, or a standing balance assessment station. Let's go over the proper method for screening your patient's leg strength. With your patient in a seated position, Simply ask them to lift their thigh towards the sky as if they're performing a seated march. Ask them to perform this on both sides. Then ask them to straighten out their knee. And again, ask them to perform this on both sides. What are we looking for? We're looking for grade three muscle strength. By being able to straighten their legs out against gravity, your patient is demonstrating to you that they have adequate strength to stand without additional support. If they cannot demonstrate grade 3 muscle strength, then they're not safe to stand without that additional support and other means are necessary. We cover a variety of these scenarios in our full practical course. Now let's test your knowledge. Is there ever a mobility station where strength testing is not required? The answer is yes. Strength testing is not required if one, the question states that the patient is independent with their mobility, and two, your clinical understanding of their condition stops you from testing. You want more information on these types of scenarios? Join us for part two of this series. Thanks so much for listening.